Okay, I have a number six round brush, and then I've just got some um, white paint on my palette, and that's where I'm coming in here and um, starting to do. I'm going to paint these arms. I'm wondering if I like that arm. I may make it a little more narrow. We'll see. Because it's, I want it to be further away. And I think I got it just a little bit too wide. But like I said, I can always bring out more. And here I'm just putting on the white. Coming up these arms. I think I want this one to be a little higher. There we go. Than the, um, that one because this one's hopefully a little closer to us. And then I'm just coming right in here. I'm going to touch up on the side of her face and then I'm coming around. Just a little bit of, um, let's say, I've got to bring hair in there so I'm not really worried about <clears throat> that being white. And so then I just fill in the rest of the spots on of the white. You know, I used to love to sit, when I first got married, I, I told you I couldn't draw, so um, I would buy coloring books, and I would sit and color. I have adult coloring books now. They just sit and what, go to waste now because I don't color, color them. But before I started doing um, acrylic painting on canvas, I would use my adult coloring books and um, just color. I mean, to me... When we first got married, you know, I worked. Um, but when I had time off, I would sit and color. And I don't know, there's just something very relaxing to me about that. And that's what this here is, a, is for me. It's just very relaxing just to sit and put a little paint on the canvas. If I want to come down more, I can. But, you know, if I'm not happy with... The way the dress is, I'm coming on down and covering up that chalk because I'm happy with that, getting that chalk out of the way. That way I don't have to get another brush and wash it off. If I want to make this more of a point, I can do that. I think I want to. Now she's not an angel, but that's what it's looking like, right? <laughs> um, no, she's not an angel. I have to tell you, I kind of debated on what I wanted to do. I seen one um, Joni Young painted. It was a white scene for Christmas, and she painted a lady in a white um, dress. And I thought it was flowing. It was just gorgeous, I thought. And so I thought, hmm, that's beautiful. <laughs> but I think I'm going to bring this down a little bit more and then come back up. There we go. So we know we're going to have some shadowing going on and stuff. And I want to cover up this blue really good. But anyway, that dress, it was just such a beautiful, beautiful red and white. But I was thinking, well, that's not really, this is not a Christmas scene. This is a joyful, happy time, which Christmas is, is a joyful, happy time too. But, you know, this is, she's out among the, the sun's going down and the the night time is coming and she's out um, uh, singing. She's happy. And so that's what I want her to represent as her being happy. I like her little blue hair. <laughs> I, I'm just picking. She's going to have black hair, y'all. <sighs> so I'm going to wash my brush. And if I don't like that, I can always come back and give her some more white there. But I like, um, I'm a purple person. <laughs> I tend to really like purples and so I'm thinking well I wash my brush and then I'm gonna dirty it back up because I'm coming back in here give her a little more in here just want to fix this for her okay. and uh, but I tend to like purples and pinks and um, those kind of colors when we first got married you know, I like pink. My colors for my wedding was pink. 
But you know, I was moving in with my future husband. So I didn't think too much about, I never picked out colors for my bedspreads and curtains and stuff. And um, his mama gave us, his mom and daddy gave us um, bedspreads and pillow shams and um, curtains. And they were all pink. Oh my. Well, I, put, I used them for many years. And he didn't complain about being in a girl's room. I guess he was just happy to have a wife. But eventually I ended up going to blue. But it was kind of funny. Here he was. Uh, well, they were giving me what I, she was giving me what I liked was pink. So, all right. So I've given her another, tried to close her in as much as I can. Um, I want to dry her before I add um, the black. Just one little bit. And I'm going to try to come in here and then just close in some black got some water on my brush she is not going to be black headed but she is going to have some black in there got to just get it covered up right now I'm just um, filling in this blue so I can get this black in and then we're going to do you know, after that dries, we'll do some other stuff. Okay, so I'm just like with my number six, I'm just coming in and giving her some little. Well, I've touched the white, and that's okay. I actually like it, y'all. Oops, I didn't like that though. But I don't want to go in there not doing all that. i just giving you an idea of what she's going to look like. Okay, I'm just going to get a little water on my brush and come in here and wash, wipe this off. And I've got some more on in here. Just going to get rid of them so I can see. Oh, I thought that was dry. <laughs> I just blow dried it. And it literally it was dry, I thought. Touched it with my hand and it was dry. Oh, well. It's just a thing. I'll go ahead and finish doing what I'm doing. Just going to get this up. No, I'm not. I didn't get it dry good enough, did I? Okay. See, there's bloopers and painting. There's bloopers in life, period, isn't it? All right, so anyway, well, that's a good thing because I was going to come back. I'm not happy with this arm. I want to fill it in just a little bit more. If I can get it without water all over it. There we go. I think I'm happier with that. So let's go ahead and fill this where we messed her, which that's probably going to end up being black anyway. Most of it, some of it's not. All right, so, because I, I do want more black there. So I don't even know why I'm doing this. But I'm going to try to give her a little nose there. Can you, I should have brought you in a little bit more, I reckon. Can you see? I just come out just a little bit and gave her a little nose. Yay! You can see her? Y'all, um, my boys fixed something for me so I could show y'all things easier. Yay! They made life a little easier on me. I'm still using the number six um, brush and I have a little bit of a magenta on there and I'm just gonna start filling. Just gotta come in here and get these little edges. It's not wanting to cover up good. There we go. So I told you I didn't want to go with the red, so I went with something between the red and a pink and a purple. <laughs>
Now, I'm not giving her magenta uh, hair. I'm just covering up for right now. That's basically what I'm doing is just trying to cover um, the white up. If I'd have just put this agen magenta, <clears throat> if I'd have just put this magenta on the um, the blue or the yellow, that it um, would have come through really easy. So that's why I'm just putting the um, I had to put the white down. Now you, if you know, if you decided you want to paint this, you can put this uh, dress any color you want it. Cause um, you might not like magenta, but I like magenta. You might want a blue dress, or a, you might want a white dress. Do it like a wedding dress for somebody or something. I'm just going to come back in here with another little coat just to make it a little darker. Try to fill it in a little bit more. <clears throat> because I don't like that on. Um... I like the magenta, but I like it. I want it darker. And then um, then we can go in and add our shades and our um, light and darknesses. Pick up a little weight in here because this is not um, doing what it needs to do. I'll fix that. I just needed to get that white on there to try to help cover up some of that <clears throat> where she'd grow it a little bit. <laughs> Well, I said I was going to do something different to the sleeves. I had thought about bringing them down, but I think where they are, they would. I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to leave them like they are. So I'm just bringing this down and trying to get some more, get it to fill in a little bit more. I think a, a real pretty bright blue would be would be pretty as a dress too. But um I know I love this magenta. <laughs> this is one of those colors I could just go crazy with and lose my mind. <laughs> just painting all kind of colors with it. It's just so pretty. <laughs> 